Panama City woman is thankful she's able to get out of what she calls a bad situation. It's part of a home buyout program to get people out of flood-prone homes. Yeah, News Channel 7's Dekevion Gauz talked with the woman as they finalize the paperwork today. He joins us now in the studio with the latest. Dekevion? That's right, Stephen. I was there front and center after the deal was done. I can say both parties were equally cheerful. Panama City gets the opportunity to turn what was once a flood zone into a beautiful green space, and homeowners got the chance to sell their home at a great price without having to pay a realtor or a closing cost. For this woman in particular, she got the chance to live comfortable again. I was in a house with no walls for two years, and I finally said, this is ridiculous, time to move on. That is Miss Virginia Nunley. She has lived in her house for over 30 years and seen five hurricanes. She says she made the decision to move while on her way home from visiting family in D.C. I went up north to um, visit my family for Thanksgiving, and I looked around at my niece's house, and it had beautiful walls, and it had pictures on the walls, and you could find dishes that matched and everything, and I just said, you know, I don't need to be living in a way that is not comfortable. And on my 17-hour trip on the train back to, to Florida from D.C. is when I said, I'm out of here. The Florida Department of Equal Opportunity awarded Panama City $5 million, creating the Rebuild Florida Hurricane Michael Voluntary Home Buyout Program. With that money, the city purchased homes off the streets of 19th and Lake in Cincinnati. The city made it a priority not to force homeowners out of their homes. All homes were acquired voluntarily. 21 homes were purchased, much like the ones you are looking at now. The city says they plan to turn this area into a green space to help with flooding. But for now, the fire department and police department are using these homes for training. Josh Street, an official with Panama City, says they started with this area because of its history of flooding. And we identified this specific area because there were so many homes that were actually in this area that flood. And a lot of it has to do with topography. Um, and a lot of the stormwater that's in the city is, is going to this one place and it kind of bottlenecks there. Street says he's joyful to see the sellers happy because helping citizens is the reason he got into office. For a, from a personal standpoint, this was a large part of why I really wanted to get into helping a government. Um, government has an opportunity to help solve very complex problems. And, um, and, and this is one case where we see that it's been successful. Nunley plans to stay in Bay County, but she says she never wants to see another flood again. Next, officials are going to focus on homes impacted by Hurricane Sally and getting those homeowners enrolled in that program they say those homes were impacted in the same way.